up guys welcome back this is the boy yeah i'm sling how are you guys doing welcome to another video please try as much as possible guys as usual support your boy like this video comment share it on all social platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam sling and make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and also good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from so guys uh without further ado let's jump right into what we are gonna be discussing now and uh, let's talk about Yusuf Buari's wedding. Well, not the wedding itself. It's, uh, let's talk about uh, the private jets. And uh, speaking of the private jet, for those of you who don't know, Yusuf Buari is uh, Buari's son, President Mohamed Buari's son, who got married about uh, a day or two days ago. And this one is coming from Sheikh Gumi. He said, according to him, according to news, Shegumi blast politicians who flew private jets to Yusuf Buari's wedding. So Yusuf and his wife Zara got married in a wedding ceremony that took place in Bichi, Kano State last Friday, August 20th. As expected, the wedding attracted powerful dignitaries including former Nigeria leaders, diplomats, businessmen, monarchs, and many others. A video was shared online. Of course, we saw the video and we saw the private jets. More than, let me say, close to 50 or 100 private jets. Crazy. Well, according to Sheikh Gumiz, he said, Umar Katab once, to, once took 16 dinner which is equivalent of two, two million today from the treasury as Esther could to Hajj. After their return, Omar admitted to Adulai that they wasted public funds. Somebody told me private jets in Nigeria were all hired for the wedding of Buari's son. Some people are in captivity in the bushes and cities hunger is everywhere people are facing all manners of problem yet politicians spent public funds on private jets that's coming from sheikh gumi and i also know a lot of nigeria also think that way why are they flying private jets attending a wedding of course it's uh, the president's son's wedding but why are they flying private jet there? They flew almost, they hired almost all the private jets in Nigeria. Well, guys, uh, can I leave your comment below if you feel any kind of misreaction to it? Well, it's President Mohamed Bouari's son, and what do you guys expect it? And uh, let's not even talk about the souvenirs they were sharing at that wedding. According to Insta blog, this video was shared, and uh, according to it, that was... Uh, one of the souvenirs shared custom-made gadgets allegedly given out as souvenirs as President Warrison's wedding in Kano. iPhone 12, 12 Pro Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro Max, and iPads were given out as souvenirs to guests. Man! I would have found a way to just attend that party. Maybe I would have changed my phone from iPhone 11 Pro Max to iPhone 12 by now. It's crazy though. But uh, unfortunately, you already know my own stand concerning that issue. You know, we are facing a lot of issues. And uh, we already know our politicians are looting. We already know there are rich, rich men in this country. We already know you guys have all the money in this world. But please, you are rubbing it on our face. You know, there are, there's hunger, so politicians are meant to at least, you know, uh, calm it down a little bit. And uh, in this country, I think we have so many kings. So many kings in this country. I'm beginning to wonder. In a small state, I bet you, uh, I think in each state in Nigeria, at least, at least, there must be like 10 kings in each state in Nigeria each state there must be like at least 10 kings in that state 
you know and uh wherever they are sharing the national cake tell us how much we reach people ordinary citizens like us in the country too many politicians too many uh, 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 kingsmen too many PAs. everything is just too many 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 and uh, let's talk about Bonner boy Bonner boy received a grammy wrist watch i've never seen a grammy wrist watch before but i never even knew it uh, existed or all thing now i saw Bonner boy unveiling this uh, this grammy wrist watch classic very fine and uh, i think it's a special edition so whenever you win a grammy you no know, that wristwatch is specially presented to you and we have we we never knew such thing uh as it before until now and i uh, thank you bonner boy for showing us so whenever all those people have gotten grammy before usually get this wristwatch so does it mean that if you get up to 10 grammy you will get 10 different wrist watches from grammy crazy man crazy and i bet that wristwatch uh cost a uh, hell lot and uh did uh whiskey also get ease let us know whiskey did you get your own uh grammy wristwatch let us know if you have yours you know you won your own grammy with uh beyonce a guy who called himself royalty this is what he said about nigerians he said must be only nigerians that walk into an ice cream outlet without a pre-existing mental note of the flavor they want how do you get to the front only to spend five minutes on gambling on your choice this is why averagely smart people do well in nigeria because majority are slow on top ice cream you insult nigeria this way on top ice cream Averagely smart people do well in Nigeria because majority of Nigerians are slow. Do you believe that? Uh, do you believe in that statement? Him saying that uh, majority of Nigerians are slow because of well, although he's saying it based on ice cream issue, because he walks into uh, uh, ice cream outlet and of course they are supposed to name the flavors. Maybe we put a melter there to tell customers okay this is vanilla this is strawberry this is chocolate but they didn't put that so when you go where when he went inside he started trying to find the choices for like five minutes he's trying to look for the choice but i think if you think if you check the way we we do stuff in this country i think i would kind of like agree with him although i won't base in on i i won't i won't base it on smartness i will base it on wickedness we in nigeria will love to wicked ourselves that is why for example whenever they are sharing anything let us say for example palliatives instead of them to find a way that will make it easy for people to just come there carry their palliatives without crowds a typical nigeria will make sure that that palliative will be so unbearable and reasonably difficult to for one person to even pick any palliative from there we saw what happened we see crowds something ordinarily you guys should organize to go to move smoothly but because of wickedness, they know exactly what to do. They know the right thing to do. This country, our leaders, our citizens, we know the right thing to do for things to work. Because it's wickedness. So I won't base it on smartness. You see, he came into that ice cream uh, outlet. They were supposed to indicate the flavors. But I won't say they just forgot to indicate the flavor. I think is wickedness. They may have a vanilla normally, and uh, maybe they didn't have, they didn't mix it very well. Mix another different vanilla here. They are both vanilla though, and because they they had they have different colors, and they want to deceive the public. So I would base it on wickedness. So if you actually analyze what he said, 
and uh, I won't base it on smartness. I think I will say, yeah, it's goddamn wickedness. We Nigerians, we are just wicked towards each other. That is why we don't want any of us to get things easily. We don't, we do not appreciate us getting things easily. Even schools are difficult. Going to polytechnic, difficult. Going to university, difficult. Going to primary school, difficult. Secondary school, difficult. Getting a job, difficult. Passing through NYSE, difficult. Everything in this country is difficult. And simple, simple, simple very, very simple things, simple solutions. We need to move things forward, but because of wickedness. That's why I say I base it on wickedness. I don't think it's based on because they, the people organizing it are not smart. They know exactly what to do, but it's wickedness. And uh, this girl, she called herself Lone Wolf. Date men in their late 30s and early 40s and thank me later. Those are the real men. No young man has ever called me to ask what I want to eat so he can send it to me. But these older men know their shish. Well, do you agree with that? Well, I'm a older man though. And then I know I know the right word to say. But uh, if I compare myself to like uh, five years ago or six years, seven years ago, I will tell you, man, my head was all to I say, guy, I do not care what you girl feel. I just want to nag. I don't care either. I, I don't even care about what you need if you have eaten. But though uh, young guys do ask because that is like the, typically the first question. Hello there, how are you doing? Uh, how is work or if she's going to work? How is school? If she studies? Or have you eaten? What do you eat? Usually they usually ask that uh, such question. But uh, they will never buy you food. They will never tell you, okay, should I buy you something? But say uh, some young guys do do that though. Guess who here? We are the current spec. We are the current spec 30 and above. We are the current spec. And uh, this one is coming from Simi. You know, Simi has been very, very outspoken when it comes to fighting for women. Well, now someone, of course, she has been getting some kind of a backlash. She tried to defend herself. She said, why are you always talking about women this women that see me own is too much let me give you perspectives when we complain about nigeria and the government tells us to shut up we don't shut up we can't afford to because the people are still op oppressed this doesn't mean all nigerians are suffering but majority are it's the same for women we continue to speak because majority of women are still op oppressed some women have it pretty good. I know I have, I pave it much, much better than most women, but I'm the majority. And even at that, I know men with the same skill set and experience as me and other women like me have it better. It's not fight. It's just true. See, me and Fana, that means she is saying that if if it was to be a man in our own shoes currently that that man will be much more better than what she is currently that is to say male gender have it easy than female gender well uh she also said when nigerians are complaining and using developed countries as example we don't expect canadians to come and say why are nigerians always complaining their home is too much why are you so annoyed if you are a man and don't do these things then i am not talking to you why are you hungry even they say black life matter it does mean white life don't respect women doesn't mean disrespect men treat women better doesn't mean treat men worse because the woman the women in your compound 
or your sister a better hope doesn't mean everyone is the fact that you got foes on your table food on your table doesn't mean anyone is eating speaking for women is not automatically attacking men if you feel attacked it's because you are guilty it's not rocket science i don't want men to have less respect or value i want women to have more and you should set yourself if you are not on the same side as me especially if you are a woman said what i mf said and i go still talk him again well uh, i won't even say anything because i believe our fellow women we also come for her as well well uh, i think uh there are much there are so a, a, a lot of women who are coming out now asking i honestly i don't know what they are asking for when you come to government government setting ministries bank the same position be it a man or a woman occupy that position i think they are paid the same salary so please i want to know where in nigeria in any part of the world that you see uh male and female uh, the male the male is paid more than the female is paid more than the female while occupying the same position in the company or in a government uh institution please i want to know because i'm in nigeria i've never seen before i've not seen before the only place i've seen is this spot you see male spot female spot you see male are well paid because male generates more money even entertainment like simi of course because you cannot force people to also patronize you the way they are patronizing people like david o. because it's based on what people like even if simi is it seems like david o way more in nigeria i do not think she's very, very talented way talented i see her on the same level with whiskey and david o. But it's what people want. What people want. So I, I, I even Yemi Halade the other time was so bitter, and I uh, wasn't really happy. Let me tell you the truth. Some of other art artists are not happy. Whiskey sold that uh, O2 Arena, and it's re and it just released another date again, another date or the next day for O2 Arena, and the tickets are still almost sold out. Meanwhile, our female artists are just struggling to see sell out a uh, uh, concert. So, will you blame whiskey or will you say, okay, say male gender stuff? Are you going to force a, force someone to buy tickets? All this kind of stuff. But uh, like I've said before, I've asked you that question. Please let me know exactly how you feel about that. And uh, this one is also coming from BB Ninja Esther. She said, before, she used to dream that she won't make it up to 25 years old. She said, a year ago, just after my 24th birthday, I had a disturbing dream that I won't mark 24. I spoke to my mom and we both prayed about it. All through the year, I have been doing something random and the words from the dream would keep replying in my replaying in my head. It was so disturbing that I told my brothers, who is a trust and wills expert, that I wanted to make a will. I'm super grateful to be alive. I can only say that it is by God's grace. He said, he will perfect all that concerns me and I know it just started chess to a new age. Everybody now is now age 25. In fact, if you ask any get currently, how old are you? 25, 24. How old are you? 25, 24. Just know that girl is 30 something. 30 something, 30. Any girl who just simply just say 35, 34. Check her very well. Well, guys, apart from that, uh, thank God she's alive. She's 20, 25 years old. And uh, she's living and enjoying herself. 
and uh just to thank god she flaunt her access you know flaunted the sexiness online again that's good though <laughs> No, I, I do. I, I well, I can't say if uh, we know how to thank God nowadays. No, I can't say that. And uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, we seriously need to be careful, really, in Nigeria. We already know about what bandits was happening currently, and uh, there was one man who was arrested. So po police arrested uh, a, a bandit going to Plateau State with forty three AK forty seven magazine well fully loaded 53 ak-47 magazines want to waste all those people on the on people's children people's brothers people's family crazy we seriously need to be careful in this country and meanwhile guys uh thank you very much for watching the boy again i'm slink i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a wonderful day stay blessed peace